Hello, everyone. I've recently managed to get access to Dolly 2, which is not yet publicly available to all, and I'm here to share with you some of the first images I've generated with this amazing new tool. In case you are not familiar, Dolly 2 is a new AI system from OpenAI that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language, also known as text to image synthesis. Now we've already seen Waluigi realized as a human being. How about Wario as well? And what about good old Super Mario as a real life human? That mustache is intense. Next up, we have Homer Simpson, again rendered as an actual person. The forehead here looks a little funky, but the facial features are all spot on. Next, I wanted to see how Doll E2 would render one of the emotes from my Twitch channel. So here we have a blue cat wearing an orange sombrero while dancing and playing maracas. And here's an illustration of a purple cat wearing sunglasses and a yellow baseball cap. Now, some prompts don't always return the kinds of images you might be looking for, like these attempts to generate an image of a cow with the head of a cat. The images shown in this video have been cherry-picked from a larger set of images the AI generated in response to my prompts. I see more dog than cat in this image. And this final illustration is just charming. Next, I wanted to see how Dolly 2 would respond to some of the best prompts I used with Dolly Mini, or Crayon, in my previous videos, to see how the results compare. While similar in aesthetic, Dolly 2's output is much more coherent and refined than Dolly Mini, as we can see with these futuristic steampunk helmet and basketball shoe designs. Next, I tried my hand at generating some environmental images, like these miniature set designs for a Wild West movie. The output here is very detailed and tactile, and really has a sense of place. I also generated some environments inspired by Elden Ring, though I'm not sure how familiar the AI actually is with this video game. Here we have a charming neighborhood market in a futuristic space colony. And how about the city of Springfield from The Simpsons made of clay? Now let's submerge to a futuristic underwater cyberpunk cityscape. Next, I tried a series of prompts inspired by results from the amazing Dallery Gallery, linked in the description, which I suggest you all check out. Underwater shots of a baby monkey eating a banana, and also of a bear eating a cheeseburger. And finally, here we have a giraffe eating an apple. And now, 35mm macro shot of a puppy licking a frog. The animals here are much more coherent and cute than what is possible with Dolly Mini. Here we have a rabbit doing a kickflip on a skateboard in Central Park, New York. And a cute illustration of a bunny skateboarding in Tokyo. Next up, my cat is trying to teach me accounting with charts and graphs, but is disappointed that I am failing to understand. And here is a macro photo of some tiny people having a rave inside of a gaming computer. And now, an aged bronze statue of an influencer taking a selfie in Central Park. The way it's able to realistically render the metallic bronze material is really amazing. Up next is a marble Greek statue of Blanca from Street Fighter II. Not the most accurate depiction of this character, but impressive imagery nonetheless. For some more painterly results, here we have a rainy nighttime scene of a feline netrunner walking through a futuristic steampunk city with neon signs. While not photorealistic, the results here are well composed and very evocative. And continuing with the steampunk theme, 
Here are some images of a comfy steampunk dive bar interior. I really enjoy the look of this miniature version. And why don't we round things out with some silly products, like these Spongebob inspired cameras? Or how about this stylish Razer gaming toilet? And finally, let's see how minions would look as real people. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this showcase of images generated with Dolly 2. If you have ideas for cool prompts to try out, please share them with me in the comments below. And I hope to see you all back for the next one.